All right, so we are now out here. Uh, this is um, called PRP on the patio, or the <laughs> we're here at the PRP bar. Um, we are gonna take some blood from these massive masculine veins over here, and we're gonna spin it down to get the gold part out of the blood, which is called the plasma. And we're gonna use that to re-inject it into the scalp for hair growth. And we've been doing it every couple of weeks now, and we're seeing pretty good hair growth so far. You happy, sir? I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right. So, this is the only place I know of where we do outdoor PRP injections. What we're gonna do is start here at the bar, and then we're gonna move our way over to the patio uh, rocking chairs right after that. So as you can see, we're gonna get this little guy in action. Right there. A nice little rolling vein. Don't even feel a thing, you're pretty good. So we have the blood coming out over here. This is also how you do a vampire facial, which is what they do in Vampire Diaries. That's what the diaries are all about. They're about facials. So we're drawing the blood, make sure we get as much as we can into this little tube over here. And once we get pretty maximized, we can reach up here, take this guy off. And I'm gonna ask you to grab this alcohol swab, Shervin. There you go. Just put it over that needle if you would. Fantastic, thank you so much. And we pull it out, we are done with that. If you could bend your arm, sir. Wow, did you do anything? <laughs> it's That's all done. So we've got this down. We're gonna have him go sit in one of those rocking chairs just to hang out. Would you go take a seat, please, in the rocking sure. chair? And we're gonna spin this down. It's gonna take about six minutes and we'll do the second part of this, which is the injections into the scalp. Back. All right, so we're out here six minutes later ish, and uh, the tube has now come down. As you can see here, the blood goes down over here. These are red blood cells, okay? So, this is what carries your oxygen. This is a little agar medium that splits uh, the plasma from the, the blood. This is the plasma. So, this is platelet rich plasma. The reason they call it that is because it has platelets in it. We don't really care so much about the platelets as much as the fact that this is a concentrated form of your blood with more of the factors that blood carries. So injecting this into the scalp, we still don't know exactly what's happening, why it's happening, what the messengers are, or who it's going to work on. Um, but we have seen a very good response in about, I'd say, 50% of patients, which is a pretty significant response for something uh, as simple as this for hair growth. So we take it out just by itself. Some people call it liquid gold. Some people call it blood's urine. I don't know what I call it. I call it just good, good, old, good old stuff. All right, so we will take these and since we have Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Come on over here to Pete. He's just hanging out over here. My son. So, as part of, part of relaxation, we do, we do some rocking motions. This tends to help out a lot. And we get a moving target. <laughs> moving targets are always better. Alright, so we're going to do a couple injections right up on the front. And they're generally a slight bit painful. Sometimes we do some uh, numbing beforehand with some cream. Sometimes we just go at it. Pate is very strong, so we just go at it and we inject this stuff all over. When you do this on the face with microneedling, whether it's plasma or blood, they call it the vampire facial. Typically, they use the, the blood product. Um, I don't recommend the, using the blood because blood's pretty inflammatory in the skin. And uh, if you actually get any kind of absorption into dark skin, sometimes under the eyes, it'll cause permanent pigmentation from the hemosiderin, which is the breakdown product of blood. Using just the PRP, you can't really harm anything. 
So there's no exact science to this stuff. Again, we don't know how or why it works. However, if you read online, the response rate is pretty significant. And by significant, I mean 50%. Okay, that's kind of where we are at this point. So we repeat this. On most people, they'll do it probably once a month for about six months. Um, if you are really diligent about it and trying to get more substantial hair growth, you do what we do, and that's probably every two or three weeks we're going to do it. And by about three months, that's when you're going to start seeing the nice regrowth from this. So we're going to all the important areas. He's getting a head tan at the same time. <laughs> How are you feeling, Kate? I don't even feel anything. I'm good. Awesome. Perfect. We're just working our way into the hair over here. All over, getting it in. So we did a hair transplant how long ago? Uh, November. November. And I'm so thrilled with the results. So I did a hair transplant in November, and this is now enhancing the effect. The most potent thing people do is they take Propecia and they take it along with Rogaine, you get a nice change usually from those two alone. Then if you do PRP on top of that, you're enhancing your growth even more for most people, not everybody. The other thing that people like to use is a stronger form of Rogaine, which is a 10% minoxidil that we have made in the pharmacy. And that actually has a little bit of finasteride in it along with the uh, Retin-A and some other products that help the Rogaine or the Minoxidil work, work better and go deeper into the scalp. The only other thing that we like to use is we like to rub avocados on people's heads. <laughs> to give them a nice green look, like the Hulk. Because the Hulk was incredible. I think I'll draw the line there. <laughs> he had good hair, the Hulk. That's true. Nobody ever noticed that, but he had great hair. <laughs> So no, the only other thing we do is Viviscal. Viviscal is like a protein supplement that comes from the ocean. That's where fish come from, Pete. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I'm taking that. <laughs> yeah, you are. I think you should really talk about the spray that you invented, though. That's so fantastic. I'm in love with it. That's the, the hair growth spray. Yeah, we have one with a 10% linoxidil and some other good stuff on it. Because you know you didn't do the transplants in the back of my head but it just filled in back there. Yeah so that's a nice thing to take. Alright so we're gonna do these areas here too. I do this last because it tends to bruise a little bit when you're on the sides here. We're gonna try to thicken the hair growth here where we did not do transplants. And the good thing is, too, if you ever have extra of this, which we're not going to, but if you ever have extra of this, you can use it as a filler for the face. Last maybe a, a month or so, nothing too, nothing too crazy. All right. So all your liquid gold has been injected now. Cool. Aside from actually working, it makes people feel like it's working over the next couple of days, just because of the uh, hair trauma. So we are done. Now you can hang out here on the patio for a little bit. All right. And relax. This is the private side of the patio. We got that side too. <laughs>